Hello and welcome once again to Mashinki. So in the last episode we upgraded all of our rail lines to the newer high speed rail. We also upgraded the trains running on this loop round here. We ended up going for a lot of the uh, Russians I believe. I'm trying to remember the engine name. Yep, the uh, Russians we went for. Just because they have a higher speed, although they don't have as high a carrying capacity as a lot of other things, yeah, it's fine. Uh, now I could have gone for GS2s for everything, but then my coal would be disappearing down like a drain hole. Uh, I eventually want to upgrade a lot of stuff to the EMD F3s, but that will cost a lot of oil, so that's going to take a while if I do want to do that. Um, now I do have to upgrade some of the passenger trains on this loop still, but we will get to that eventually. Um, or, well, I think we might do some of that this episode. Uh, changing the passenger trains on this loop also means changing some of the trains on this loop because they sort of, some of the trains share. So yeah, I'll probably do that this episode. However, before we start any of that, I'm going to change this area up a bit. Uh, so, speed up time, let trains get through a bit. Now, the reason I want to change this area up a bit is... Uh, I want that. Uh, you know what, you pull off like that, you go up. And then just connect. There we go. The reason I'm doing that is because I am going to remove a lot of this area. Really? You went that way? Damn you. And no longer in the way. Wonderful. Perfect. Oh, God. Good, didn't interfere. And the reason I've done that is because I want more stations here. Because we've got a lot of trains stopping at this oil well now, so I want to make sure that it doesn't affect the throughput of trains. Uh, I suppose, yeah, that can just link straight in. Doesn't slow it down in any way, so may as well. really don't need that signal anymore. I will keep these ones though and then replace or add in a chain signal there. Okay. So this will just help speed up some of the trains coming to this area. Which is a good thing because it's finally getting that oil well down. Uh, because in the last episode it was still hovering around 150-ish. It really doesn't need to be that high, although the fact that all three trains arrive at the same time probably is why it's going down a bit. Uh, let's add that in. So there we go, we are now producing the uh, oil as quickly as possible for this station. Ooh. Pause the game. Uh, deliver 200 oil within one year to any factory and you get five cars for free. Well, we are delivering to this one, of course. Oh, we can upgrade that. Yeah, all right. Full upgrade. Yeah, we've got enough oil, may as well. Now, how much oil is sitting here waiting to be taken away? Not a great deal. I think the oil train that we've got running, yeah, carries 74. 
So, we may, yeah, actually, we do need a second one. So. God damn you. I hate it when it moves the whole thing rather than the cart that I'm trying to select. Add that one? No, it's just too long. Do I want to add two small ones instead? I think that's what I did the last time. Yeah, it'll just carry that little bit extra then. So you want to go there. Uh, no, no, you don't want to copy that. You want to go there. Then go to up here. Begin. That's just going to get some more of the oil shifted down. Now, do I need more stations here? You know what? I'll add a third one. Just in case. We'll end up linking over there, but... That'll be fine. That's fine. Because it's a chain signal, if both of these are full, that one will go off, and then this one will only let a train go that way. So, yeah. And the trains are choosing these two stations because they are the sort of best ones to go for. But as you can see, as soon as it needed to, it sent one over there instead. Nice. Working okay. And as for the moving cargo, I think we're moving the cargo pretty well so far. Not like we've got a load of it that needs moving still. So yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Uh, so, back down here, and let's take a look at those passenger trains. Go to the depot. Wow, these are literally some of the earliest trains I've got. Kind of nice actually seeing them. Like seeing the fact that the first train I actually made is still running on a line. Go to depot. Go to depot. I think that's all of them. So we've got what? One, two, three, four, five cities and one post train. Yep, you're going to the depot. Wonderful. So I think one train here for these two cities will do. I probably won't split it to go like, you know, up here and down here anymore. Time to sell. And we really don't need all these old wagons anymore because they're not going to help much. Well, how many of them are there? <laughs> and sell these two trains for the moment because I'm going with uh, these ones, I think. Oh, actually. Uh, do I want to use the bonus? I've only got one of them. I will claim all five of those. No, I think we'll use the GS2s for this, for the moment. So let's do the post first. Do 
do we want to extend the stations? You know what? Yes, I do want to extend the stations. So, a signal box. And we will put the signal on the outside now. Delete the one on the inside. And add extra station. This one I'll just add the extra station that way rather than putting it on the outside of the road. Signal box, there you are. Also wouldn't mind adding in a restaurant. Let's delete that house. Add that restaurant in. Then increase the station. This one's already got a restaurant, so yeah, no need to add it there. So now this train can go up to 8 long instead of 6. Oh, 8.5 really? Alright. There. Is that? God damn it, really? Stop the train and upgrade those two pieces of station that I used the wrong track for. Right, so that one's off. So as I say, that will just run between these two stations. Perfect. Now, I think having a dining car is always a good idea. And then first class. Really? We can't have that many first class? Alright then. So we end up with three first class and one dining car. But I am going to do a different train as well that's basically full of second class and maybe one first class. Can't add one more. That sucks. Yeah. Just because otherwise one train, because they only take 18 passengers each, and there's a lot of passengers sitting there waiting. So I kind of want to have more than that. Uh, I will have a third train as well for this line because there's three cities. So I hope to have like a train in each city. And that's perfect. No. Make that a little longer so I can actually arrange this how I want it to be arranged. Because I want the first class, dining car, and then pass uh, second class. Yeah. So, these three trains are going to go from there, to there, to there. Off you go. And off you go. Now, at the moment, there is the problem that this isn't long enough, so I do have to upgrade this station still. Uh, there we go. So, we remove those two signals, and helps if I actually buy the signal box first, doesn't it? Already got a waiting room, already got a restaurant here, so that's handy. Station either end. Oh. Okay. So 
So that one carries 68 passengers, that one carries 93, and third one carries 54. But that one makes more money out of them. So, you know, less passengers but more money. But I also want to reduce the number of total passengers waiting there because it's kind of silly. Uh, right, now, these two cities. Gonna do exactly the same thing. Signal box, right there, please. Doesn't have a restaurant this one yet though, so may as well add that in as well. Uh, yeah, you already had a restaurant. Okay. Do I want one train or two for this? I'm gonna go with two. You are going to both have a dining car. Both have a first class and two second classes. Uh, nope, that one goes on that train. And then dining cars. Just there. That works. So you're going to go, really, go away, you're going to go from there to there and begin, and then you are going to go from there to there. And that's enough lead time I suppose, I oh, know that one stopped so I'll wait a moment. There we go, now it can go. Seriously, the coal is full again. You know what? Storage building. Stop complaining. You know what else? Have a coal hopper. Now this station can have 1500 coal. Yeah, that'll be enough. Not gonna complain anymore for a while, at least. Okay, awesome. We are clearing passengers out of these cities. At least a little bit. With the mail train, I might need a second platform. I don't know. It's kind of hard to add a second platform in at this point, considering how big these cities have gotten. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to actually add it in. How are we actually doing on coal? Because it looks like it's going down. Oh. We're actually spending coal now. But is that because of the vehicle fuel, or because we've been buying stuff using coal? Okay, so we earn about 750 coal. We're spending about 647 on fuel. Okay, so we are still a plus, just not as big as plus as we were before. Is there anywhere else we can actually... I mean, there's a coal there that we could just do a small loop to earn more. We've got three there that, again, we could do a loop to earn more. Okay, so 
if we do start looking like we're running out of coal, there's quite a few loops that we can create that will help with that situation. Okay. So next episode we might up our coal production just so that we get out of this sort of problem. Because we are using coal quite a lot to, you know, run our trains. And I don't want to run low on it. So please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.